Let's talk about air speeds. There are four you should know and understand. Ground speed is your speed in relation to the ground. It can vary based on the wind conditions. If you are flying into a strong headwind, your ground speed will be slower than if you fly with a tailwind. You might have seen some of those videos of plane flying into such a strong headwind, their ground speed is essentially zero, and they're just hovering in place. Indicated airspeed is simply the number you read straight from your airspeed indicator. That's really all there is to it. Calibrated airspeed is indicated airspeed corrected for instruments and position errors. Those errors can occur because of where your pitot tube and static ports are located in certain flight condition, like in a climb for example, when the airflow over those is disrupted. This was primarily used as a middle step to calculate true airspeed, and technology has evolved enough that modern glass cockpit just gives you that information straight up. Speaking of which, true airspeed is technically calibrated airspeed corrected for altitude and non-standard pressure. But essentially, understand it as the speed of your aircraft in relation to the air mass it's flying through. That number can be higher than the indicated airspeed at altitude because there are fewer air molecules the higher you climb, and your instruments are essentially becoming less accurate at monitoring your airspeed through the air mass. If this all still sounds complicated, remember that ground speed and true airspeed are primarily used for flight planning purposes. Your POH will reference them in performance charts and you will need them to fill out a navigation log. Whereas indicated airspeed is what you want to be looking at while flying. All the V-speeds are indicated airspeed. Think of it this way, if you don't have a glass cockpit, indicated airspeed is literally the only information you have. I hope this video helped clarify a few things. Thank you for watching. As usual, let me know in the comments below what topic you'd like me to cover next, and I'll catch you in the next video.